So cranial sacral therapy, in my opinion, and of course I'm biased, I am instructing it, is one of the fundamental systems of the body that helps everything else to get straightened out. So if you've had clients you've been working with, some of them for years, and their persistent problems don't seem to resolve, you might be jaw-droppingly amazed at what happens in one or two second sessions of cranial sacral therapy. The cranial sacral system is designed around the central nervous system, and it's part of what allows the flow of oxygen and nutrients throughout the brain and the spine and the nerve roots, gets the waste products rid, so when you are out of this, out of that system. So when you think about a cranial sacral session, you can think about it as a tune up for the brain and spinal cord in the same way that you can think about a massage as a tune up for the body. But it goes a lot further than that. Let's talk about fascia for a minute. Everybody remembers that fascia is the three dimensional web that surrounds everything in your body, is around all your organs, your blood vessels, your nerves, your muscles, your sinews, your bones, the whole bit. That's all interconnected. And there's fluid in between that allows it all to flow on itself. When that fluid gets pushed out, it sticks. When it sticks, it starts to hurt to make that motion. So you stop making that motion. When you stop making that motion, you have this cascade of effects that we go into in detail in the class that end up with a loss of motion and pain. What we do is we work with the three-dimensional fascial web in such a way that it releases itself. The restrictions that occur between the fascia layers de-adhere from one another and the fluid flows back in. So now you've got mobility back. This is one of the ways that we can address things that nobody else has been able to address with getting uh, a frozen shoulder to release or a post-surgery rotator cuff to release or a hip that just won't regain its mobility to release. So for somebody that is normally healthy and can't get into a full lotus, it can be completely amazing what a cranial session or two can do for them. And all of a sudden, there they are, sitting exactly the way they want. Cranial sacral is a gateway to the parasympathetic nervous system. The parasympathetic nervous system is the opposite of the fight or flight. It's the relax, heal, digest part of you. It's the part that in this country, most people aren't in touch with very much. Unfortunately, everybody is all the time rushing, even as we're away from our normal situations in COVID. Normally, not having to commute, not having to deal with people in the office, not having to deal with who ate my lunch out of the office refrigerator would be a relief. However, everybody else is at home. So now you're dealing with the kids and their homeschooling and you're dealing with the pets saying, oh, you're home all day. I want attention. I want to play ball. I'll take me for a walk, da, 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 da. So the stresses haven't really decreased. And when that happens, your immune system gets compromised over time. Your ability to think gets compromised over time. Your resourcefulness gets compromised over time. Cranial sacral therapy gets all of those back by turning on the parasympathetic nervous system. That allows your resilience to stress to come to the fore. That allows your body to relax. That allows your nervous system to reset. And that's where the resourcefulness and the better thinking come in. And they've done some testing on this before and after, pretty amazing results. So we go into that. We deal a lot with the fascia throughout the body because there's far more fascia down here than there is above the, the neck. So even though it's called cranial sacral work and we do work with the cranium itself, we make sure that the fascia in the body is moving freely because if this is all stuck, then anything we do up here is going to be pulled out of place within 24 hours. However, if we deal with this first, then the things that we do here will stay. And that's one of the beauties of cranial sacral work is if your uh, remedies, if the releases that have been applied during the session don't hold, then you know that you've still got to go back in and find where in the body the pull is. Because once you get the bones of the skull to release from one another and you get the membranous restrictions inside the skull to let go, if everything gets pulled back, the problem is not in the skull. So it's a beautiful way of double checking your work. And over time, it allows you to put on your detective hat and find out where you need to be working specifically to get the best results for the person on the table. The other nice thing about cranial is it's profoundly relaxing to receive. Because you're turning on the parasympathetic nervous system, a lot of people actually go to sleep or they go into a light trance state 
a kind of zoned out state. They're aware of everything that's going on. They're hearing what you're saying to them, but they just really don't care. They're in this nice, relaxed place. And that's beautiful because now you can work directly with the body and bring it on as a partner in the healing. That's a wonderful experience for the person on the table. And it's a wonderful experience for you. And if you've ever had a type A client comes in really stressed, you're yap, yap, yapping as they walk down the hall. They're yap, yap, yapping on the other side of the door as they're getting ready to get on the table. They're yap, yap, yapping for 58 minutes while you're working with them. They're yap, yap, yapping. Even though you're off washing your hands, you can still hear them over the running water in the background. You come in, they're yap, yap, yapping, and you're having to like really put a limit on it to get them out the door before the next client. And what are they yapping about? Are they yapping about Publishers Clearinghouse showing up with a check? Are they yapping about the Kardashians inviting them to be on the next episode? No, they're yapping about the things that are causing the stress. So they're keeping that cycle going and you're having an effect, yes, but the effect that you could be having if they were in their parasympathetic is far greater. So cranial sacral is a way to come in, turn on the parasympathetic nervous system, whether or not they're wanting or focused on their own healing and getting the body to come onto your side so that you t- together, the two of you, can get them into the place that they need to go to relax, open up, allow the delamination, the various fascial layers, allow the circulation of the cerebral spinal fluid around the brain and the central nervous system. And they come off the table in the place that they couldn't have actually imagined before they got on the table. The cl- during the course itself, we work a lot with the fascia out in the body. And then we work specifically with the bones of the skull, which all move. We learn how to palpate those motions. We learn how to feel where they are not moving properly and what that tells us as far as what the fascial pulls on the inside of the skull are and how to release those. And once you do that and you start to have that normal motion and that normal cranial sacral flow, you'll be amazed at things that can go down like autistic behaviors, dyslexia, dysnumeria, memory problems, uh, word finding problems, lots of things like that can be addressed. Headaches, migraines, especially, this is beautiful. I've had people that have started a migraine when they've been on the table and we've stopped. (laughs) Trust me, they'll be coming back for the rest of their lives when you do that for them. It's a beautiful thing. 